What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Tonight, in this short video, I want to show you all how you can fix the problem that some of you all probably have been having from time to time with your Wi Fi. Now, what I mean is, you probably have noticed when you put your Mac to sleep and it boots back up from sleep mode, you probably have to wait like maybe four to five seconds for it to reconnect to your Wi Fi. Let me show you what I mean. If you come up to your Wi Fi, You'll notice, like I said, when it boots back up from sleep mode, let's just say if you had your Mac sleeping for like maybe an hour or two and you press your keyboard or you move your mouse or your trackpad or something like that. Normally, it would just connect right back to your wireless router, right? But you probably have been noticing for some time now when it boots back up, it takes a while and you get this little spinning icon that you just saw in the right hand corner. And that may go on for like maybe like six seconds or seven seconds until it finds the wireless router that it was connected to. So now I actually heard that Apple is on top of this and they supposed to be coming out with an update. It's not out yet. And the update that Apple just released, that wasn't the update that we was looking for. So unfortunately, I have a fix for you for the time being. So the update that Apple just released, that was for a security update for your Macs, not for your Wi-Fi. So, what you can do to just fix that for the time being, like I said, is you want to open up your network preferences like so. Once you have your network preferences open like so, I want you to come down where it says advanced. Choose advanced. Now, right here, you may have preferred networks already inside this little dialog box here. If you do, just select them all with a command A. You can hold down your command key and just tap on the letter A. Once you have selected all of your network names that will be inside this box, just select the remove Wi-Fi network. Remove all of them. Don't worry, it's okay. Once you have done so, I want you to just click OK. Now, once you're back to this window here, which is your network preferences window, I want you to come up where it says location. Right here, you'll see mine says I Brian. Now, before I made this video, it said something else, but I changed it. So come down to where it says edit locations. I want you guys to add a new location. So just choose edit location. Now, once you have chosen edit location, I want you to just press the plus symbol here and add a new one. You can name it whatever you like. So in this case, I guess I'll name mine uh, MacMan. I guess just MacMan. Once you have set your name for your location, you can just choose done like so. And after that, just choose apply. Choose your Wi-Fi it should pop back up like so. There is mine right there, the Belkin 30. In some cases, you might have to re-enter your password. If you do, it's fine. Just re-enter your password and everything. And, and other than that, you should be good to go. So the next time you put your Mac to sleep or shut it down, it shouldn't have any problems as far as finding your wireless router that you have hooked up to your Mac. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll let you.